All right, we got a bunch more parts in this week, so uh, let's unbox them and hopefully nothing's broken this time. I hate these packaging things. I, I don't even think I opened it. Oh. This thing's making a fucking mess. Okay, bolts. Apparently I... Oh, shit! Okay. Ugh. Alright, these are uh, hardware bolts for the clutch. Ah, I totally forgot. Uh, South Bend sent out a new hardware kit for me. So, shout out to South Bend Clutch. Really appreciate their support and, uh, you know, at least getting some new, new hardware for the clutch. What is in this? Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> this is totally not car related, but I'm so happy I bought it. I'm not going to open it with a razor blade either. Because it's a shirt. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put this on real quick. Never forget. Got some, uh, some more Amazon stuff here. The, the, uh, the wires for the coils, I almost dropped them. The wires for the coils, because I uh, had the wrong connectors for the coils that I bought, so got some new connectors for those. Yes! Finally! This. This is something I have been needing for years. This is a new high frequency board for my TIG welder. So I'll finally have high frequency. I'm gonna put this back in the bag, stick it in the box so I don't fucking break it. Now we'll get around to installing that later today. Fuel pressure regulator. So, I've been needing one of these. Now I finally have one. Perfect. I ordered a bunch of other stuff from Holly too, but I think a lot of it was on back order. Uh, I ordered fuel rails and a couple other things too. So, I think it's, those are on back order for a couple weeks though, so I'm gonna have to wait to get those in. Russell's fuel filter, the uh, AEM fuel pump. This is the same pump that I ran on the GTO and the RX-7. This thing is awesome, uh, 380 liter an hour. Not sure if one's gonna be enough. I might need to run two of them. And then a whole bunch of vibrant fittings so that I can finally get started on the fuel system. Now, I believe that there was a bunch of stuff on back order. I know the lines uh, the lines were on back order, and I think there were a couple fittings on back order, so I'm gonna have to go through all this stuff and see what I'm actually missing here. Actually, I think there's an invoice with it. Should. So, tons of Vibrant fittings. And I just need to get Vibrant lines so I can actually uh, get it all together. Well, it definitely looks like we're missing some fittings to get the whole fuel system done. Uh, most of the stuff came in. There were some specialty fittings, uh, like a 10 OBR to uh, 8 AN female uh, that I ordered that I need to connect the fuel pump to the filter. Uh, obviously all the line isn't here yet. A couple other things I still need to get. You know, without the line, I really can't do anything, but at least I'll be able to get the regulator mounted. Um, Maybe I'll do a little video on that, just mounting regulators. That's pretty simple and straightforward, but 
anyways tons of parts in sweet shirt and that's gonna be it for this one so if you're new subscribe to the channel uh follow the build along like the video if you liked it and me and my boy harambe we'll catch you later